Hey, YouTube! Happy Tuesday. Beautiful day outside today. Wind chimes chiming. Temperature is nice and cool. Beautiful blue sky. So today I'm making a random video. For what I gather from the teenagers and 20-somethings that have been living in my house the last several years. Random has a coolness factor to it. <laughs> Let's go on in and uh, see what's going on. So I'm working on a little project today, but I wanted to do an intro just to say that uh, a lot of the stuff that I do, I try to do with products that I already have around the house or building something from things in a scrap pile or you know, all that. So if you've seen any of my videos, you might be familiar with some of them where I talk about doing it with things I had laying around. The whole idea is to not spend money on stuff. Hey guys, so I got an old pair of Wolverine boots here. Kind of dirty, dusty, been sitting around, haven't done a lot with them for a long while. And uh, just recently made a leather sheath and used some different products on them to condition that leather and treat the leather a little bit. So I was going to try to test a couple things on here and make a video just to share it with everybody. Um, one of the things I used on the other leather was just coconut oil straight out of the jar. So we'll try this and see what that does in a little test area. And then one of the other products I used is actually made for treating wood. Picked this up at Lowe's. And this is uh, feed and wax. It's orange oil and beeswax. And I really like this product. It's, I guess it's, uh, it's made for conditioning wood, but it did a pretty nice job on the sheath that I made. So you can see here this leather's pretty stiff. It's uh, getting pretty dried out. I'm going to wipe them off with a damp, damp paper towel first and then apply some of this stuff and see. So I just wiped it down with a damp paper towel and took some of the dust off of it, uh, a couple spider webs. <laughs> But it's still quite stiff, um, so I'm going to start testing out these products and see what happens. I decided to leave one boot alone completely as is, so I didn't wipe that one off at all. Um, just left it alone. And then this one I have wiped down with the damp cloth. I haven't done anything to this half of the boot yet, this side of the boot. I just rubbed in this coconut oil. I'm no leather expert, but um, you know it's common sense, I guess, that if you add some moisture back to this leather, it's a natural product. You know, it's a skin. It's gonna um, absorb that moisture and darken up a bit and uh, look a little bit better. Uh, like I said, no leather expert, but I guess what I do know is leather, like any other product, if you the better you take care of it, then the longer life you're going to get out of it. So, obviously these boots were neglected for a while, but protecting leather and treating the leather will definitely make it last a lot. This is the product that I use, naturally refined organic coconut oil. I got this at Walmart. I haven't finished this half of the boot yet, but I just wanted to show you something real quick while I'm going along. But there's an obvious difference in how this product absorbs into the leather compared to the coconut oil. So you can, if you watch it, you can see it darken up as it's on there. So you can see an obvious difference in the way it's absorbing into the leather compared to the other one. So I tried to leave a little bit of a line there in the middle for now, just so you could see the comparison. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but the side with the beeswax and orange oil is much darker and uh, seems to have absorbed into the leather a little bit more. Um, 
this leather probably needs a couple of coats of conditioning. One of the things I do know is that a lot of products that are made specifically for and intended for the treatment of leather <coughs> do have beeswax in them. So maybe that helps out. I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes and then buff it a little bit and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of difference in the way the light's hitting it, but as far as the sheen on the leather, just buffing it a little bit. Not a huge difference. Slightly darker on this side than on the other side. And then I guess the question is if there's any difference in uh, protection as far as uh, waterproofing or whatever from having a little bit of wax in it. So everybody knows oil and water don't mix, so you probably won't see much of a difference either way um, with these boots freshly treated but uh, you see the water running beating up and running right off on this side with the wax in it it runs off on this side with the oil also, didn't quite beat up the same as this side uh, with the wax, I guess. So maybe there is a little bit of a difference as far as the uh, far as that water protection goes. So there you have it. Easier to slip on and more comfortable too.